ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلله فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا وعظيمنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله قال الله تعالى في محكم تنزيله اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فهل يمضون الى الساعه ان تاتيكم بغته فقد جاء اشرافها فانى لكم اذا جاءتكم ذكرى اما بعد فان اتقى الحديث كلام الله عز وجل وخير الحديث هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وان شر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله ما بعد very all praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we praise him as he deserves to be praised we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil of our soul and the consequences of our bodies indeed we ask Allah's guidance and we seek refuge from this his displeasure and misguidance whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides will never be misguided and whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala misguides no one can will ever die. We all bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we all testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his messenger. Indeed, the best speech is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the best guidance are the statements, speeches and practices of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The words that appear in our deen are the introduced and innovated or invented matters in every invented or introduced matter in our religion is by and large an innovation. Every innovation in general are a misguidance and every misguidance in general also are in the hellfire. فَهَلْ يَمْرُونَ إِلَّا سَاعَةَ أَنْ تَأْتِيَكُمْ بَرْتَكًا وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ فهل ينظرون الى الساعه ان تاتيكم بثه فقد جاء اشرافها فانى لكم اذا جاءتكم ذكرى بعد عود الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله سبحانه وتعالى is giving us a very good sign here in our societies that are they waiting then for anything else than the last hour suddenly come upon them and already that hour or its signs have arisen. All the signs of the hours are around us, but we don't see them. But when it does come, the hour, it does come actually upon them, where will they have time to take it? Where will they have time to reflect on the signs when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already taken them? The companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to migrate uh, in places and change all those places. And where are those qualities in Muslims uh, today? Therefore, uh, the topic of today, insha'Allah, will encircle or will encompass on that area, insha'Allah, since we don't have that in our society. The size of the, uh, uh, the Day of Judgment is uh, Muslims to come in, in the area and they don't change the people in that area. They don't change the culture in that area. The companions of the Prophet Sallallahu actions were very spoken, they were speaking loudly than their words. That's why you could say, you could tell that SubhanAllah, something has happened in our community. Good people have come in our community. And what signified that? After a period, you could tell that business has started to change, everything all of a sudden started to change. Why? Because they had haq. They were what I was called haq, what I was called sabr. But we, do we have to stress about that? We don't have to stress about that, dear brothers and sisters. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already implanted the shajara of iman in every believer. Therefore, you just have to activate it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the first pillar to be lost. In Islam, Ummah will be leadership. And then the last one will be prayer. When you see that all the states, all the communities 
all parties, the whole planet is not praying, then the hour will be imminent. But right now, think of it, or think about it. We don't have leadership in Islam. Everywhere, we don't have leadership. Why? Because it has to start, to start in our homes, and in our areas which are surrounding us. We as believers, we have to, to change that. None from other traditions have to, to, to change that. We are only and only people who can change that. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us here already. وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْلِ الْذِكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِفُهَا عِبَادِ يَسْوَانِفُونَ إِنَّ فِي هَاكَ لَبَلَاغَ لِقَوْمِ الْعَلِيمِ Surely we go in thoughts that the earth shall be inherited by the believers in this book. Indeed, it is a message for those love to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you reflect upon this ayah, we are the people who are inheriting this earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this earth and we will inherit the hereafter if we gain those points, insha'Allah. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to, 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 to verify and rectify our, all our activities. Saying that وَسِيقَ لَذِينَ تَقَوُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ زُمَرَةً حَتَّى إِلَىٰ جَعُوهَا وَفُتْحَتْ عَدْوَامُهَا وَقَالَ لَكُمْ خَبَنَتْهَا سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ قِبْتُمْ فَدْقُلُوهَا خَالِكَةً This ayah is very important to everybody. Everybody, every believer. And those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall be taken in company to paradise. So that when they arrive there, its gates will will have already been widely opened and its keepers shall say to them, Peace be upon you, you have done well, so enter inside, you shall abide herein forever and ever. But this ayah, the next ayah, explains this ayah that I read before, وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الْذِكِرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِثُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّوَالِحُونَ إِنَّ فِي هَذَا لَبَلَاءً لِقَوْمِ نَعْبِهِ وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي صَدَقْنَا وَعْدَهُ وَأَوْرَثْنَا الْأَرْضَةِ نَتَبَوَّهُ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ حَيْثُ نَشَاءُ فَنِعْمَ عَجْهُ الْعَمْدِينَ فَنِعْمَ عَجْهُ الْعَمْدِينَ All the believers after entering the jannah اللهم جعلنا بكم they will say all thanks and praise be to Allah who has made his promise to us to come true and who gave us the earth to inherit. Allah gave us this earth to inherit and look at what we're saying after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had already granted us Jannah that who gave us the earth to inherit we may now live in paradise where, wherever we please forever how excellent is the reward of those who struggle how excellent the reward for those who contemplate how excellent the reward for those who reflect on ayat subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore what do we do when we come in the place in place to maintain those leadership qualities do we? We build masajids. Haram. We build masajids. And then, do we have to stop there building masajids? And look at them as a washi subjects, a beauty la. They are beauty la already. But do we have to look at them as as a, a washing places? Before, after we, we wash it and we close all those masajids? No. This ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, uh, this interpreter interpreted this ayah as A'udhu billahi minash shaytan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Fi buyutin adina allahu ay antufa wa yukhara fiha smuhu Yusabbifu lahu fiha al-mudu wa al-asar Those who are directed to this, to, to this light are found in houses which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed to be raised and where we are in, his name is to be remembered. In them, in those houses, 
glorify Him in the morning and in the evening. In the morning and in the evening. Wasabi bihamdu rabbika qabla tulu'a al-shams wa qabla al-gurub. And do we have to stop there? No. We have to establish protocol. Because protocol, Allah's words, Allah's company. You know, we're marketing Allah's words. SubhanAllah in those communities. We have to reflect every person, every believer has 45 houses, you know, every side of the looks at. Because of the light we have. The light we have is, the, not other traditions use our lights. And without our light, they don't have lights. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that without our lights, our lights, they, they are yamahur. They don't know where they are going. Therefore, we have to take those responsibilities. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always continuing and maintaining and guaranteeing His words to us as believers. And how do we maintain leadership again? وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَعَمِلِ الصَّالِحَاتِ وَعَمِلِ الصَّالِحَاتِ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَعَمِلِ الصَّالِحَاتِ لَيَسْتَخْلِفَنَّكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَنَا كَمَا سَخْلَفَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ وَلَا يُمَكِّنَنَّ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ الَّذِي اتَّضَى لَكُمْ وَلَا يُبَدِّلَنَّكُمْ يعبدونني لا يشرك لا يشركون بي شيئا ومن كفر بعد ذلك فأولئك هم الفاسقون. Now tell me, that that ayah is very 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 powerful. It tells you a lot about us. سبحان الله. Allah has promised those of you who believe and do righteous deeds that He will bring back power. Allah سبحان الله can take power. إن الله لا يغيب ما بقوم نبعم ما بقوم حتى يغيب ما بقوم. الله سبحانه وتعالى you have to show we have to show him that we are qualified because he takes power and he brings that power. Therefore, in this verse, what is he telling us? He's telling us that he will bring us power that that, that power that he wants bestowed to the uh, um to the people who came before us. You know, bestowed power on those that came before them, before us. And that he will strengthen their team, our team again, which he chose for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, is the one who chose this team for us. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that, tells the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that even if he wanted to bring two Muslims, two believers together, he couldn't. You couldn't. But who does that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does that. Therefore, He tells us that He will strengthen their our deen which He chose for us and He will exchange fear. Listen to this. He will change, exchange fear that they are in with security, with security. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who does that. Who takes fear? out of the believers and exchange it or replace it with, uh, with, with the security. Let them serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and associate none with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever engages in unbelief after this will be regarded as a fast, as a fast, evil, sick individual. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enlightening us here that in Urdu, Urdna, he says that what in what in all to asa rabbukum asa rabbukum ayyarhamakum wa in all to mudna wa jaalna jaalna mali kafirina hasila. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that if you go back to evil, if we go back to evil, 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 this he will go back to just tie that. I love you. Listen to that. If we go back to evil, this that we were doing before, he will go back to just tie that. You know, he will go back to punishing us on this on this part, which is not really good. Therefore, he says that uh, he says that woman kana fi hadi ama fagwa fi alhirat ama wa abdullah wa abdullah wa abdullah. Whoever is blind in this shall be blind in the hereafter. If you hear about signs and then you you know you 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 
don't take heed, we don't reflect on one eye or one verse. And when, when, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrects everybody, what will happen to you? You will be as blind. Oh, Allah Oh, worse than that. When I will that. Therefore, what is, role, what, what is the role of trust and power in our community? How can we bring back our role that we had once? How important is it? What role does it play in our community as Muslims? Everyone, as I see, everyone is powerful. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already given us that. Everyone is powerful. I'm telling you. Because we have shajar to iman inside us. And you know how that shajar to iman goes, you know how that tree of iman goes up, Paloha, you know, it's a match, and it goes up, and then it branches, touches the sky. You know, nobody can touch that, uh, that, that tree of iman. Therefore, everybody is powerful. But what, who, is, who is powerful in Islam? Who is the power man, superman, superhero, superboy, superwoman in Islam? You know, who is that? The one who controls himself, or the one who controls his anger. But, but in that time, during that time that he can do anything, who can, you know, do something to, to others, but subhanAllah, you go down and you say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. What does that mean in the society? It means that instead of blaming others, we should blame and every time. We should blame ourselves. As a parent, as parents, we should blame ourselves. As husbands and wives and kids, we should blame ourselves as teachers, as khutbah, khutbah, as, as imam, as the leaders, we should blame ourselves. Why? Because if we blame others, that's where the problem comes from. Be because of the fact that we can't do enough for Allah, for Islam, and sometimes we feel like we are showing off, or sometimes we feel like there is something happening, even if there is, there is nothing happening, that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created, created us that way. We have to blame ourselves. The Sahaba did that all, all the time. They were doing that all the time. Abu Bakr could blame himself. Omar could blame himself. No, it was my fault. No, it was my fault. No, it was my fault. They could spend like two minutes, three minutes doing that. But look at the results that the light came out of them that subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us that light. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are, the key word here is expectations. If we can rely on each other, then we can exchange communication and build the trust. Successful great leaders make sure this exchange of expectations is working. The system has to work in our service, otherwise. But in our communities, that thing in our service, in our communities. If we build a, a masjid, do we start there? No. We turn it into an Islamic center. But it's not very, very easy to do that, brothers and sisters. This means we stop seeing it as a place of worship only and add other activities. Which other activities are those? I've, I've seen a lot of massages doing that, mashallah, alhamdulillah. You know, this is very, very good. Other activities will attract age group, and that age group or the presence of the age group in a community, in a masjid, in a, in a masjid, comes with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you can see all that, now the community is growing. That is the, the first sign, that is the first trigger of showing others that the community is growing. And, but to get there, or to get those points, we always have to blame ourselves, not others. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to rescue us from our, our, own, our, our own self. A meaningful livelihood and trust go together hand in hand for a community's future success. Once the community believes in their leaders, there are no tasks that can be done. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to turn all our masajis into Islamic centers. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us demand. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and rescue us from evil deeds and from shaitan. وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِوَالْحَوْمِ وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِوَالْحَوْمِ وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِوَالْحَوْمِ وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ
الله عليه وسلم والصلاة والسلام على المصطفى الذي وفى قال الله تعالى في كتابه العزيز دعوة الله إلى الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وارض اللهم عن أبناء الخلفاء خلفاء عن أئمة الخلفاء أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن بقية الصحابة أجمعين وعن التابعين وانتباعهم لإسلام الله والدين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداءك أعداء الدين واحمي حوزة الدين يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر جيوش المسلمين في مشارك الأرض والمغارب Allahumma help those those uh, those uh, those kids who are dying today. Allahumma help those kids because because they are so this is so young. Yeah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Help those uh, those uh, those people who are being uh, punished uh, with others. Yeah, Allah. Allahumma punish those who are uh, killing others. Ya yeah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allahumma shakti shamla. Allahumma damn the earth. Allahumma surman nasr dina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Wahdul man hadir dina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allahumma. نصر الجيوش المسلمين يا الله اللهم ولي امورهم خيارهم ولا تولي امورهم شرارهم وارفع مكه وغضبك عنهم ولا تسلط عليهم بذنوبهم بذنوبهم من لا يخافك فيهم ولا يرحمهم يا عزيز يا رحمن يا رب العالمين وصلي لهم على محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه